hello guys welcome back to the channel um today i am in hanley um a revisit to hanley now i've had a couple of uh, comments suggestions things like that saying why am i looking at negative things when i come to hanley so today i am out trying to find something positive about hanley something good about hanley um let's see how this goes um so we're just here um and yeah i think this is a little positive bit of anley you know it looks quite nice running through um bins that's a positive anti-rammy bars just up there that's positive um home securities um well that's home securities i'm just checking out just to see if i can see any of the screens and i can i can see that lady's screen just up there um so that is a negative thing i would say because that home securities really shouldn't have people's information on the camera but there you go anyway guys that's home securities uh, yeah and we're gonna head this way today um and just see animal rescue there that's that's good is that positive guys um i've started the video here today because um i think this is the most positive bit of anley and i really am if i'm being honest with you i'm scraping the barrel try and find these positive bits of anley but i am going to try and find them for you guys so we are just here in what is known as the cultural quarter i suppose that's nice positive this is arnold bennett an author from 1867 to 1931 is that a positive bit? <laughs> I'll let you decide, guys. Is that a positive bit? Lovely old empty building there. Um, well, there's the sun. I suppose that's positive, guys. Uh, sorry, I keep saying guys. This is pottery, uh, the Potteries Museum and Art Gallery. Um, and we can see a negative thing straight away. Homeless guy's been sleeping there. Um, we've got tourist information and things like that um, uh, out of order use the slide door I'm just checking to see if it says anything about no videoing and it doesn't so I'm gonna go in and it's not open guys so we can't go in so uh, um, so there we go we might be able to get a look through the window Let's see if we can have a, a look through the window for you. Uh, for me, that's not a positive because it's not open, guys. Uh, crackhead. Crackhead, crackhead, crackhead. Pigeon. So, guys, just in here, I'm not sure you're going to be able to see this very good, but there is a Spitfire in there. Um, which is a positive because people can come see a Spitfire, but the negative is it's not open so no one can actually come and see it. I mean, it's quite nice out here really, isn't it? It is quite nice. We're just heading down. Well, we're just at the side of what is the Smithfield building. There you go. Anyway, guys, nice little grassy grass area. So we're just walking down um this the one smithfield it's called um colorful building there um it's also the job center plus building and i think it's a building of more things i'm not too sure um yeah it's a smithfield this is guys so there we go anyway i'm not gonna go through just giving it a quick look around uh, yeah it's quite nice in here really isn't it it's quite nice quite a nice modern building um, nothing on the bottom floor I think it's all hit the top floors so there we go anyway guys cheers for that nice one so this here guys is Smithfield Works which so I'm told might be water plus but as we can see guys the um screens are on show there which i don't think is a 
is a positive is it you want your screens facing away you don't want a gdpr leak nothing in there um but yeah the screens have got to be facing away um let's just go in see what all this is about it's a nice looking building again guys nice and modern yeah, screens facing away which is a good thing um but yeah that's it's quite cool there we go nice it's the tin man so we moved out of the cultural quarter now guys and sort of adding in to sort of the main bit of hanley um yeah the start of the empty shops um, but still we've got a positive walk away here we have got the regent theater just here um jack and the beanstalk is taking bookings calendar girls is now booking um but yes uh, so uh, yeah we're moving onwards up into the sort of the center now towards where the shopping center is uh, we've got just some just your standard really shops they sell rolexes but they've got none on show so i can't film one for you guys um but uh yeah nail bar no nail bar looks like they're doing well there state agents let's see what an house price around here is like so we have croydon place it's hundred and seventy thousand pound davenport street stoke on trent at hundred and fifteen thousand pounds so a bit more reasonable on the prices here um but yeah no screens on show but if i was to move sort of around here um, I can sit there and watch that lady's screen just there. So if she's got any, ever got any personal details on show, we're going to get all them, aren't we, guys? And that is Reed's Reigns. Um, so don't uh, use them as an estate agent because your, uh, your details might be on show. So I don't know if you remember last time I was on Anley, I had sort of a a problem with acorn training she came out shouting at me saying i can't video you can't video um so i'm back here to see if they've sort of learnt their lesson sort of thing i got a lot of um you know negative comments towards me because i filmed this uh, saying i shouldn't be poking my cameras in but as you can see i don't need to i can clearly see it the screens are on show um but I can go up like that, there's no law saying I can't go up. There's no law saying I can't get so close. So I'm back here, videoing it again. Um, no one's come out, maybe that lady isn't on, but there you go anyway, guys. Or I could come down low and video down here as well. And uh, there's no one out, so uh, you know maybe that lady isn't on. So there we are, moving more back into the central sort of section of Anley and we've just come from this way where this sort of nice street paving is uh, is ended um, so what can you see that's positive guys I can see people um, that's positive but I can also see empty rundown buildings but there you go anyway guys you pick out the positives for yourself yeah, I know what I can pick out guys um so there you go so we follow this down here uh is this a positive guys i don't know i don't know i am trying to find it um smile you are on cctv well wherever this is smile you're on cctv um but yeah as you can see we used to have some clubs down here um reflex oh well used to be a good night out in there and we'll look at this guys little dessert shop um so a lot of this rubbish is from the little dessert shop as you can tell there um 
there you go anyway um as you can tell look at the boxes they've got like chocolate and stuff on them so little dessert shop is not the cleanest of places would you eat from there i'm not so sure i would but there you go anyway guys where's the positive in this you tell me so we just filmed the rubbish from the bottom guys i managed to get a view from up here and look at that that is i mean it's a rat's dream isn't it really do you know what i mean why don't these businesses clean up after themselves because this is not pub this is not public stuff this isn't these gates are locked so the public can't come down here this is the businesses that are making this a mess they need to be held accountable too don't they so we're moving into the um sort of hanley square if you'd like uh, to see what we can see what are the positives guys i am looking for the positives nice bit of architecture that's a positive but it, but from where like we've been to other sort of towns and it's much well kept than than what it is here that is lloyd's bank um, there used to be sort of a market here fruit and vegetables stuff like that that's not even here so not much we've got a road sweeper over there that's good let's go and take a piccadilly boo up here eh last time we were in anley we managed to get through these gates and we filmed all this rubbish here now this i did actually report to the council and as we can see nothing's been done guys if anything it's been made worse all they've done is pulled the bins that were here into there then locked the gate and they haven't cleaned any rubbish up that's not a positive and here we see guys just on the left we have mankind so guys we made it to the clock tower of hanley that is displaying the correct clock time um i'm pretty sure this is the only positive thing i can pick out of hanley this is the only thing that stood the test of time um very fitting uh, considering it's a clock but yeah that's the clock tower of hanley the only positive i can find flowers in hanley that's unusual so we're just about to enter the uh, indoor market at the bottom of hanley shopping center i am just having a look to see if they say any signs anywhere saying no filming and all i can see is no pets no bikes and no scooters so i'm heading in um and to be fair there is quite a few stalls um obviously the cafe is closed now this was open for years and years and it's closed now um please use mobility scooters safely and stick to the speed limit there's a five mile an hour speed limit on scooters wow um but yeah here's the uh stalls a lot of empty stalls and um, but there you go nice little cake stall there guys um a butcher's oh yeah now some of this stuff on here looks really really nice um but from a butcher's point of view um i can actually see the fact that he's selling brisket as ribeye um well that's just one of the things i've noticed oak to oak cake stall and dally is closed you see how empty it is now i know that when i used to come here when i was younger this was absolutely jam-packed absolutely bustling it used to be and uh, now although there is a lot of stalls in here um there's a lot of shut down places and i mean i'm not kidding you every single stall used to be open this shoe shop has been here a quite a long time you're right mate 
I can't, don't worry about it. Hey? It's a, it's a public place though, isn't it? Yeah, council is run by the public person, isn't it? I don't need permission. Just just for make a vlog round round here. No, I don't. No, I don't. I I don't, I don't think you're right there, mate. Uh, yeah, guys, we're gonna make a play here. Uh, follow me round. There's kids around there, so I'm not gonna go around there, guys, because there's kids. But this guy here says I'm not allowed to film. But everybody's got cameras on them these days. Everybody can film. Everybody's got a camera on them these days. So, so does that mean everybody needs permission to bring the phone in? Because they've got a camera on the phone. you are. This is the point I'm trying to make to. Yeah, but if someone pulls the phone out, takes a selfie. Selfies are or, selfies. No, but you're, so, no, but, you're live recording now. No. You cannot get, mate. You, 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 like, you're just wrong. No, press the permission to come in here. Councillors I don't need recording. permission to film yes, in you here. Do, you do. You're off your head, you no, are, I'm mate. Not. Wait till the market manager comes down, he'll tell you the same all thing. All right, all right. Yeah, you can look in any record anywhere. Well, I'm going to carry on filming because you do know yeah. when you film, it's just a collection of pictures. Yes, I'm aware. But, but you've you just said you can take anymore. pictures, but you can't no, film. You cannot do the do, same no, thing. You cannot do any work permission is what I'm trying to tell you. I Are think you? you're wrong. No, I'm not wrong at all. But, but I can see cameras up everywhere. They're filming. That's CCTV cameras. There's still a camera. CCTV are different. I think That's you're wrong. No, I think he's off his head, guys. What do you reckon? I think he's off his head. But anyway, guys, what I was doing is I was showcasing the market. Um, he isn't following me, guys, but I'm going to make him earn his money and I'm going to make him follow me around. Whew. Um, sorry, guys, I, I bursted off from him a little bit there to make him follow me. Um, but yeah, um, I don't think I need permission to film. I think they just don't like it, you know what I mean? But uh, anyway, guys, the uh, doesn't look like anybody else has got a problem with me filming, only him. So I just think, because he's a security guard, he likes to tell people what to do. He looks like he had a bit of a stick up his arse, doesn't he? But, you know, we are slowly heading away, guys, because they can ask me to leave. Um, but I am just slowly heading away. Um, very slowly um, I'm just gonna see if I can play peekaboo with him a little bit um, I'm just gonna wander around a little bit to see that's what I mean guys that you know everybody's got phones you see these two guys here they've got the phones he's not moaning at them for filming have you been filming today at any point are taking pictures of yourself because it's not allowed these guys say he's not allowed it's not allowed. You're not allowed to take any pictures or anything in here. Apparently. Yeah, 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 I'm just doing a video of the market, that's all. Yeah, it's council property, so it's private property. We can't yeah. film in the market, sorry. I think I'm alright. I have a picture of the traders, they ask, but around the market you can't take filming. So, I can, so if I point my camera there, you I'm okay. Traders, I don't want to take pictures of their store. Am I alright doing that? He says I'm alright. So, you, so you, can, you can go then, can't you? Because, no, because they've, they've, the done, they've just said I'm alright and I'm standing here now, so... Well, are you on I'm the auditors, just, are you, mate? Just what you're trying to do, or...? Hey, an auditor? Yeah, what, they what they are they? On, on, the, on the website, don't yeah. they? I'm never... Yeah, I, if you have to I'm not an auditor. Direct. What's an, what's what's an auditor, mate? I've no idea, but I've seen on Facebook before. I'll just try a couple On Facebook? Who have you seen? Basically, so... I don't know anyone. So, in the end, if you have to trade it themselves... Am I alright just taking a video? But if you can't walk on the market, it's because it's not trade area, it's counter property, and you can't walk on the I... Yeah, well, are you the owner though? I work for the council, so I'm But you're not the owner? The council run the market. So get somebody higher up to come and ask me to leave and I'll go. We're not going to do that now. So I can carry on doing what I'm doing because you, you, you don't, you don't own it. We're going to have to contact the authorities and go from there, from that part. Go for it. Okay, what's that side for us, No, no, I'm going to, I'll wait here for you. Why are you doing this, I'm afraid? Why, why, I'll, I'll, no, you no, this? you've approached me. I'm just doing a nice little vlog of the market, showing, show, 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 do, showing the market. I'm not trying to do anything, I'm doing a vlog. I'm doing a vlog of the market, show, showing these stalls off and how good people could come and buy stuff off these guys. So we're going to contact the authorities and go from there. Go on then. Crack on then. These, tra these traders might make some business off my vlog. You want to take the traders photo, but you can't run on the market filming. I'm not going to argue with you anymore. It's simple as that. So, well, you are. You're arguing with me now, aren't you? So, anyway, we're going to do this. You do what you think you need to do, and I'll go from there after that, man. You know what I mean? A simple vlog around the market, well, showing, well, showing, well, showing people's well, wares, well, and, 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 and you come up to me saying, I can and can't do this. You're just doing a vlog. 
vlog. I'm just doing a vlog. It's, it's, yeah, that's it. Right. Yeah, yeah. I'll carry on. Yeah. He's 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 just been a knob, really. I'm going to carry on a little bit, guys. I'm just going to go in. I'm going to stand my ground on this because these market traders might see this. It might see this as a bit of advertising. You know what I mean? There's some beautiful stalls around here, and they just want to tell me I can't do this and I can't do that. Do you know what I mean? I don't see any market traders or any members of the public moaning because I'm walking around with a camera. I can only see them. We see a guy on the The security guard, mate, says you're not allowed to take videos or pictures around here, so make sure you don't. Yeah, but you're taking it on me, so I don't want It's all right, mate. You're in public. Don't worry about it. But anyway, guys, some lovely shoes here. Um, I think I've just wound them up a little bit. So, uh, yeah, they're going to contact the authorities. But if we look at all the signs here, guys, it's not like it says no filming. How come it says no filming on any of these signs, then? I'm not talking anymore, mate. It, do it doesn't say it, though, does it? Yeah, if you don't want any filming, then you need to put a sign up, don't you? There we go, guys, look. No, no signs, no signs at all. No signs. I've walked in here. Doesn't tell me I'm not allowed to do it. You know what I mean? I just think they're full of shit, don't you? You know, they can film me, but I'm not allowed to film them. You know what I mean? So, guys, we've vacated the um, market. They're all sitting down there. I think they're waiting for the police. Um, but they can wait all they want, guys. But there's no sign saying I can't do it. So, so fuck them, eh? Fuck them. Simple vlog has to turn nasty, eh? And it was, it was, it was some lovely stalls in there as well, weren't they? You know, all the store owners net didn't have a problem. Do you know what I mean? I thought it was a public, publicly accessible place. You know, I know you guys as the viewers, you will, you will tell me um, laws and stuff, but didn't say, didn't say any signs on that saying no videoing, did it? Oh well. So guys, we're still hanging around a little bit, waiting for the plod to turn up. Um, I'm not sure they will. You know, why would you need the police to turn up for a man with a camera? There is no crime, is there? There's nothing that's good. That you're in public. You're in public. They're I'm doing a vlog. There are people that fill up protection orders. There are people that wear the all. So what? So what? It doesn't matter. Put a bag over your head then. <laughs> Put a bag over your head. Hide your face. It looks like you need one. <laughs> there's an, another example of people not knowing the laws you know we're in a public place guys i can film what i want so there we go while you're engaging with me you came up to me you walked past me I, you know i'm videoing so what look you're engaging with me now you're shouting at me you're shouting at me I was just doing my vlog and you walked in front of the camera. It's your fault. Weirdos. Weirdos, guys. Absolute weirdos. You can see me standing here with a camera and you walk straight in front of it. Well, anyway, guys, uh, we're going to head down here. <laughs> Only in Anley, eh? Only in Anley. Uh, but, oh, sorry, sorry. I shouldn't be filming you. We're in a public place and I shouldn't be filming you. <laughs> We're causing a shitstorm in Anley today, guys. Uh, but anyway, um, we're just going to have a look at this here, guys, which I think is really good. Uh, support Stoke Air Ambulance. Uh, donate with cash card, monthly payments, all that sort of stuff. Drop some money in the box when you go past. You all right, bud? You all right, bud? You right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yes, anyway, guys, support the Air Ambulance because they need it. And they do a damn good job. Um, you see, there is good people and bad people everywhere you go, isn't there? Um, I tell you what, it's all going down today, isn't it? You know, this was a spur of the moment video as well. Um, but anyway, we've got Sale Lab there, guys. Sale Lab. Grab yourself a bargain. Um, I think I'm going to head to the Pound Bakery, guys, because I'm feeling a lovely pie coming on. Um, we've got Weatherspoons down there, guys. We've got uh, Mc, McCrack Donald's. Um, Paddy Power. Now, there's a story about Paddy Power. Uh, during the weekend, 
the armed police turned up. Um, I'm not 100% certain on the story, but the armed police turned up and uh, arrested somebody at gunpoint. Uh, so summit went down here at Paddy Power, uh, but I'm not 100% certain on the story. Um, so there you go anyway. Um, and then we head down to... Um, <laughs> them, women, them women were weird, weren't they? They were weird, they were. Uh, yeah, there's Pound Bakery, guys. The best place in Anley is Pound Bakery. The woman's just ducked behind because you don't want to be videoed. Don't worry about it. Uh, but that's Pound Bakery, guys. I love that shop. Um, we've got Cafe Nero there, guys. Um, I think guys are, aren't I? Uh, but here we are at Weatherspoon. Say hiya, hiya. Vlogging with the goths on YouTube. Here we are with Weatherspoon's, guys. In the lovely uh, looking building. Uh, We've got Crack Donald's there. Um, let's have a look up the side here. Whether they keep it clean, come on, let's go and have a look. I'm getting into this today, guys. I really am. Um, behind the back of Crack Donald's. Looks quite clean there, guys. Unlike some of the other alleyways we've had a look at. Um, but here we go. Here's where the local alcoholics hang out. Just outside of, uh, I'm not saying these guys are alcoholics, I'm saying some guys that are alcoholics do hang about here um, oh god I didn't know you could park there guys I thought this was a pedestrian zone um, I'm surprised the police haven't turned up to me yet guys um, I am waiting for it but I am making them chase me around if they do want me um, hey are guys some uh, guys I keep saying guys 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 one of my subscribers outlaw picked up on that. I am very sorry guys, but uh, I like that word. So it stays. But there you are, some rundown buildings. Hopefully they do sort of, um, you know, try and do them up a little bit, get them back in action. They do. Um, we've got old Limpy there. Um, but yeah, there you go anyway. Uh, that used to be the old bus shelter. Uh, bus shelter and I mean bus station has had nothing done with it hopefully they will sort of do something with it <coughs> I suppose once they've got the funds you know it's all about funding these days I think I've lost my chaperones uh, I think they're stuck talking to the uh, the air ambulance people but we'll go back up and see if the plot have turned up. So we, uh, we're we heading towards Hanley bus station. Now I've already been down here once. Um, I did film a security guy without his SIA badge on show. But guess what? I, sh I'm, I messed up the footage guys. I messed it up. So I'm heading back down there to see if I can find this exact same guy without his... Uh, without his badge on now i did shout to him you've got to have it on he's just i don't know if you can see him he's the tall guy he spotted me now he's walked off um the other security guys they are bang on they've got theirs on show but what i don't like is is people walking around telling other people what to do when they're breaking the laws themselves now it's this tall guy here that's standing just outside the building he's just going in the building um he hasn't got his badge on so I thought, you know what, I naffed up the footage, so I'll come back down there and I'll re-get the footage. You just see him there, guys, walking off. He hasn't got his SIA badge on show. I have told him to put it on show. And um, he was just laughing at me. So um, the other guys that are over here, they've got theirs on show, as you can see. Theirs is on his thigh, theirs is on his thigh. But that guy walking in the building doesn't care about his. So uh, we... Uh, I did, like I said, I did document it, but I, I, I messed the footage up. So, uh, you know, I thought I'd just get him, but clearly he's made a quick escape because he's seen me coming back. Um, but they were, they were sort of just further away from the um, the bus station, telling somebody what to do, or sort of try and get some information on somebody or whatever. But I'm thinking, why are you doing that to him? When actually, if you haven't got your CIA badge on show, you're the criminal. 
because we all know it's a legal requirement for it to be on display. Uh, but like I said, the other security guards, they are sound as a pound they are. It was just this one. He was an arsehole. Um, but I don't think he's coming back out, guys. And there was Hanley Bud Station crackheads for you there. You know guys, I have a real problem with security guards pushing people around when they haven't got their badges on display. Because, um No crackhead for you there guys. There's plenty of crackheads out today, I can tell you that. Um We've got two just here. Um But, uh I've got a massive problem with security guards. Just walking around, telling people what they can and can't do when they haven't got their badge on display. So they are the lawbreakers. Do you know what I mean? Know what you're doing before you start preaching to others. Um, I suppose I could take my own advice, really. Well, there you go, guys. That is, uh, guys, I should swap that for peeps. They are peeps. Uh, that was the was the town hall and now it's up for sale just like birmingham um council are selling everything off but i don't know what it's going to become probably self-contained flats or as many rooms as possible to make as much money as possible beautiful building now beautiful building there's a positive so peeps we are just outside the bbc Radio Stoke building. I ain't gonna get in there, uh, but we will uh, have a look at it. Uh, I think we can quite get in there and see. That's the Stoke City Football Club. Uh, press to call, it says here. So there we are, there's the BBC building. BBC, do not watch BBC, do not listen to BBC, they are full of shit. They only want you to know what you want, what they want you to know. Um, watch YouTube instead, guys. Watch the real news on YouTube. Don't watch any of this mainstream media crap. Not like I'm trying to tell you what to do. I'm just saying, that's my opinion. Um, I know I don't watch it. The woman is on a phone here um, and she's like, oh my God, there's a man outside with a camera and he's in public. Is he allowed to do that? Yes, I am. Um, you wouldn't have these beautiful things on display if you didn't want someone to take a picture of them or a little video. We've got Spode. Uh, we've got Stoke-on-Trent City Football Club stuff. Um, BBC Radio Stoke memorabilia. Hey, you are guys, there's a camera up there. You film me and I'll film you. But yeah, we're just gonna hang around a little bit. See if anything happens. Some more crackies over there, some more crackies. Go on, get that crack. Taxi! Just having a little wander around guys uh, and yeah so we've got what was Wilkinson's rest in peace Wilkinson's I'm not surprised you closed um, I don't think it's the sort of what it's like with the small shops because uh, you know um, small shops is it's got it's to do with rent and stuff, they can't afford the rents and that. But the Wilkinsons, I think it's just because they can't keep up with shops, I suppose, like Savers just here, that can sell things a hell of a lot cheaper. And they do exactly the same stuff. So uh, that's probably the reason why. Nice big smash window there. Um, So we're carrying on down here guys, um, not rhyming. What I wanted to show you is, this here is the old social security house. It's been derelict now for quite some time. Um, 
now we I can remember there used to be queues of people outside here looking for a crisis loan and uh, looking to sort the benefits out there's the pigeons and um, once you're on a chip but yeah this building's been derelict for quite some time now for the second time today I'm heading down here because um, I headed down here first and I videoed sort of this area but I messed the footage up and uh, but I couldn't not come back and um, without videoing this now look at this guys these are local businesses that are doing this this is not the public people you know this is not people just dumping shit well actually it might be smackheads <laughs> not too sure but I bet a lot of this is from local businesses and look um, it's a shithole it's like a breeding ground for rats isn't it and it's amazing because I went sort of around Shrewsbury you didn't see any of this even in the back alleys which is kind of what we're in you know that's it's fucking disgusting isn't it it's absolutely fucking disgusting look oh we might be smackheads actually that are doing all this look frosty jacks piss in a bottle just got to be careful we don't step on any hypodermics or anything there's one guys look there you go uh, yeah so that's a hypodermic needle there so yes this is a smackheads ground um, we're gonna have to be careful down here guys i'm trying to stick to the middle sort of thing i won't go anywhere near that rubbish now i've just seen that that's bad isn't it guys that's bad do you know what i mean what the fucking hell is that oh a bag of what looks like muesli that's terrible that is guys um don't know what a sort of down here but we'll go and have a quick quick look look at it you know when i when i when i look at this and i think the poor town of stoke-on-trent the poor poor town of stoke-on-trent the council do not give a fuck do they they really don't care less yeah, i think it's just these guys are just doing some sort of works in there yeah, so we'll leave them be uh, but yeah they just don't give a fuck now we went when we went around shrewsbury when i compare shrewsbury to this it's it's night and day ain't it guys it is night and day that's absolutely disgusting i'm gonna have to report that to the council guys so we'll uh, sort of let's make a marker so it's behind benefits gentlemen bennett gentlemen hairdressers which is where the hypodermic needles are because if anybody comes down there and doesn't see that you know that's bad by the by viva dry cleaners so uh, yeah we're gonna have to do something about that guys that's gonna have to go to the council we're gonna have to do as duty as a stoke-on-trent citizen and get that reported look look at all this again look look at that that's a, a box to a a galaxy tab it's clearly been nicked hasn't it been nicked on it look at all this down here stuff that's been nicked and they've had the goods dumped the boxes it's fucking shit all in it so you know guys i'm just uh sorry peeps uh, i'm just hanging around um missus has gone and being um so i'm just hanging around sort of just looking around waiting for them sort of thing and i can't tell you the amount of smackheads i can see hanging around um and the lack of police presence the lack of a of a PCSO the lack of anybody really authority wise uh, I know him we call him uh, Rob the Lock um, but yeah the lack of anybody doing anything about these people and as you've just seen I've just just you know just videoed that needle just left there on the floor now these guys they'll probably just leave the needles wherever to be fair um, I can see one 
crackhead in the distance one just there on the on the seat there um, and it's amazing there's one just over in the distance over there he is absolutely crazy and the lack of people at the lack of um, officers just going up and just making the presence known that they're out and about they were around so don't go doing what you're doing you know what I mean around in the public I'm just it's just an observation see you guys just two just sitting there you know what I mean where's the police presence as a deterrent you know what I mean there's none is there so peeps um, I would probably say that's the conclusion of us round Anley um, not sure what you sort of think but uh, I've had to look really really hard for anything positive uh, most of it's been negative in my opinion um, I hope that's a little bit better of a video for you from the last time I was in Anley um, but as we can see with Anley there is a very big lack of police presence deterring these um, <coughs> pardon me guys deterring these sort of uh, undesirables um, but anyway uh, yes I hope you've enjoyed that video um, let me know what your thoughts are let me know where uh, I'm not brilliant at the laws and stuff like that I've still got a lot to learn but uh, you let me know what you think in the comments um, but anyway guys um, I hope you've liked this video and if you have please give it the thumbs up and uh, you know leave us a comment share it with your friends uh, so this is me outside paralysis in in Hanley give it a visit guys um, and I will see you on the next one